What is possible? What is possible for you in your life? Today is the day that you're going to admit out loud what you really want and what is possible for you. It's theorized that the brain is 88% subconscious mind and 12% conscious mind. Mm -hmm. Our 12% conscious mind is what makes the New Year's resolution that says, I'm going to do this new thing and I'm going to stick to it and I'm going to see really great results. Now, the problem is you've got 88% of the mind, your subconscious mind, that keeps you in what you already know. You keep replaying an old pattern in your head. Your mind hears it as if it is a present event and you don't make any sort of a change. You ask yourself, why am I so heavy? The subconscious mind looks for all of the answers to that question mm -hmm. and proves why you are heavy. Instead, you want to re frame the question and say, how can I be my healthiest? Right. How can I start the new habit? Mm -hmm. How can I be my most prosperous? How can I have the best relationship mm -hmm. possible? Then the subconscious mind looks for all of those answers and supports you. There's a right. thing called the neural net, and we are rewiring the way we react to our outer stimulus, because we have to rewire that conditioning. Mm -hmm. there was we plant one. a new seed, and we make it the new dominant thought. Okay. You take that first baby step, life has a way of opening everything else mm -hmm. up for you. And when it opens things up for you, it gives you the second step, the third step, until finally you reach that goal. So that anybody's looking for is confidence, okay? Because confidence, more than looks, will attract someone to you. Let's Ooh. say you're at a social event, a gathering, a party, a bar. So you wanna know, is there a connection with this person or am I making it all up in my head? The very first thing you're looking for is eye contact. It also means that you're in rapport with that person. Right. You're in sync with them. You're oh. paying attention to them okay. on a level that is not necessarily conscious. It's on the subconscious John level. John Ratzenberger and I were talking earlier and he said he, one of the things he used to do is he'd walk into the room and he'd yawn. <gasps> and if he saw someone else yawn, he's like, okay, that one and I are already in sync. Let me go talk to her. <laughs> but sure. it, it's the truth. If yeah. If somebody is doing something similar to you, you've created a space for them to move into. If he's leaning in toward you, he's interested. If he's making eye contact, he's interested. If he's doing a body face scan, he is interested. Open up to that. Narrow your eyes, furrow your brow, raise one, one, there you go, that's a look of contempt. If a child starts talking about someone. I should be looking this way. Yeah, hey Mark, <laughs> this, this is what the face hey. of a bully looks like. There, there. Right there. <laughs> I'm gonna play a game, okay, so the eight-year-old. You say, okay, good, see, you're starting, you see how you're starting to feel good? So you smile at each other. Now they feel like they've got something that helps sure. them because it does, and here's and the great thing, is that this body language, which is confident body language, feel good body language, mm -hmm. will go with your child for the rest of his or her life. When you change your body placement, you actually change the chemistry in your brain. I don't feel comfortable expressing myself to you. I'm just going to get farther and farther and farther away from you. An introvert will actually draw in on themselves. So if you notice that in the sleeping position and someone's pulling farther away from you, you need to address it and say, honey, you know what? I'm noticing. And they say, you know what? It has nothing to do with you. It has to do with blah, 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 blah. You know what? I would feel really great if you just held me for a few minutes. Okay, great. Reestablishes the communication and the trust. They think alike. They love alike. And the fire is burning in all the right places. <laughs> <laughs> Oprah, balance. These two have so much balance, you can see it in their body language right now. We could see it in the room. Verbally and physically, they take up the slack for one another. The power in the room was overwhelming. So I think for all of us, it was an experience that just uh, reaffirmed that the strongest thing you can ever deal with is love. I felt the love of everybody in came that room. It came with a message of love. It came with a message of love. I had to establish a baseline, so I went back and I looked at five or six different interviews. A whole array of emotions must be going on here with her. We're looking for micro expressions because he's showing very little, which shows one of seven human emotions. We see a micro expression of happiness come up. He reaches for his ring finger. That's our commitment finger. You see him leaning in toward her. You see his arm behind her. He's more physically comfortable with Paula than with anybody else. He plants with his eyes. He keeps focused in one direction, and he's stops all of that movement. He's not avoiding anything. When we have good self-esteem, like all of you do. do you, <laughs> what does that mean? What does that mean? Do you Small see a bladder. toilet? Okay. Thank you. What happens when you're seeing all these people focused on you? I just don't like being the center of attention. There you go. All right, so the sort we just got to the source of the awkwardness. You place somebody in an atmosphere of the thing that is that they most fear. It's one of the things that actually breaks down the fear so that the behavior can actually change. Okay, all right, so we got a deal great. then.